the answer is yes. Huh? Our Scholastic Decathlon team has its first competition next week, and there is certainly a spot for you. Where did those come from? Didn't you put them in my locker? Of course not. Oh, well, we'd love to have you on our team. We meet almost every day after school. Please? I need to catch up on the curriculum here. Well, before I think about joining any clubs. But what a perfect way to get cut up. Meeting with the smartest kids in school. What a generous offer, Taylor. So many new faces in detention today. You could be our answered prayer. I'm gonna focus on my studies this semester and help my mom get the new house organized. Maybe next year. But what do you know about Troy Bolton? Troy? Hmm. I would consider myself an expert in that particular subspecies. However, unless you speak cheerleader as in... Oh my gosh! Isn't Troy Bolton just the hottie super bum? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> See what I mean? I guess I wouldn't know how to speak cheerleader. Which is why we exist in an alternate universe to Troy, the basketball boy. Have you tried to get to know him? Watch out works in the cafeteria tomorrow when you have lunch with us. Unless you'd rather sit with the cheerleaders and discuss the importance of firm nail beds. My nail beds are history. <laughs> Sister! <laughs> Sharpay really, really mad at me. I said I was sorry. Look, no one has beaten out Sharpay for a musical since kindergarten. I wasn't trying to beat anyone out. We didn't even audition. We were just singing. You won't convince Sharpay of that, I'm telling you. If that girl could figure out a way to play both Romeo and Juliet, her own brother would be ace out of a job. I told you, it just happened. But I liked it. What? Did you ever feel like there's this whole other person inside of you just looking for a way to come out? Not really, no. <laughs> Let's go. Honey. Two minutes is being late, but an hour is approaching a felony. Just because Troy's a nice guy doesn't mean he's immune to boy disease. Boy disease? Yeah, forgetting things you shouldn't forget. Oh, so now you're a boy expert. My older sister has 10 rules about boy behavior, and nine of them involve boys forgetting things they should never forget, like dinner dates. Well, it wasn't an official date type of thing. Mm -hmm. Rule number three, all dates are official, whether the boy knows it or not. <laughs> Hey, Tay. Good morning, sunshine. So you're going to rehearsals today? Uh, do I have a choice? You got us into this, <laughs> which I don't understand considering you may not even be here for the show. Have you told anyone you're up for Stanford's freshman honors program? No. Well, you're going to be hearing from them any day. Hello? Taylor, these things take time. What is this? <laughs> Stanford University's freshman honors program courts. Ah! Oh, oh my goodness! You and 29 other students are invited for an early orientation? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's huge! Yeah. Your mom must be so proud. <sighs> Taylor, you're the only one that knows. Oh, but you've already accepted, right? I'm throwing you a going away party. This is huge. You can't get rid of me that easy. Plus, we've got a yearbook to do, remember? Back to work. You should be celebrating, not keeping it a secret. The program starts at Stanford next week. I'll miss everything. No, you won't. Just the show. You can come back for prom and graduation. Girl, your future is calling loud and clear. You have to grab it while you can. Taylor, will you stop being my mom for a second and just be my friend? You know, maybe I like it here. Maybe I want to stay in Albuquerque as long as possible. Maybe I'll just stay here next year. What? Shh. 